Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a super easy makeup tutorial on how to achieve this very natural everyday look, which is basically how I do my makeup every single day of my life. A few of you guys requested this, so I am going to go ahead and film it. And this is the first makeup tutorial that I've made in like seven years, so if it's super awkward, then I promise to get better in the future. We are going to go ahead and get started. I have washed my face and moisturized my face as well, and if you have super, super dry skin like me, because I've been on Accutane for six months, then you can apply a little bit of additional moisturizer before you apply your makeup. And I'm using Well It Is Skin Food, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my fingertips and massage it into my skin. Next, I'm using Glossier's Priming Moisturizer, which is my favorite primer if you want to get that dewy finish without making your skin look oily or greasy. And I'm also going to just apply a little bit of that to my fingertips and massage it into my skin like I did with my moisturizer. You can see how it kind of gives me that luminous finish, which is really nice. Next, I'm going in with Kat Von D's Locket Foundation, which I love. This is like a medium to full coverage foundation, but it's totally buildable. So I'm going to go in with a stippling brush and just dab that on and then blend it in with my brush all over my face. And sometimes I like to switch to a blending brush just to give myself an airbrushed kind of finish. And I find that if I do this, then my makeup is less likely to settle into any fine lines or creases in my skin. So if you have dry skin, then I recommend doing this as well. And if you have any blemishes, left after you apply your foundation that are still showing then you can just dab a little bit more foundation on top to give those areas a little bit more coverage and if you still need a little more coverage then you can go in with your favorite concealer i'm using stretch concealer by glossier and i'm just going to dab a little bit on any blemishes and then i'm going to take a little bit of that under my eyes as well and just blend it out with my fingertips Next, I'm taking a big powder brush and a translucent powder. This one's by Makeup Forever, and I'm just going to swirl a little bit of that in the lid and then tap off any excess and then apply that all over my face. Next, I'm going in with a contour shade and also a light pink blush. And I actually just like to kind of mix these two together and apply them with a blush brush on my cheekbones and my jawline or anywhere else where I want a little bit of contouring or color. And now I'm going in with my highlighter. This is by Glossier and I'm taking a stippling brush and I guess this is a stippling brush, kind of like a tapered brush, but... I'm going to make kind of a backwards C shape at the top of my cheekbone going up towards my eye and then I'm just going to lightly blend that out with my brush and it's going to give me a really nice natural highlight. You don't want to blend too hard because you don't want to remove your makeup so just do this gently and it's going to look really nice. Next, I'm taking a small angled brush and a shade of eyeshadow that best matches my natural brow color. And I like to just blend a couple of shades from the Naked palette and fill in any gaps I have in my eyebrows and just kind of make the shape a little bit more full. And 
And then I'm just going to go back in with this grooming tool and kind of place the hairs where I want them to be and make sure the shape is how I want them. And looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to go in with Glossier's Boy Brow, which I am obsessed with. And this is basically like a tinted brow gel that's just going to hold your brows in place and give you a little bit more color. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that product and apply it on my brows. Next, I'm going to go in with my mascara and apply that to my eyelashes. And this one is by Chanel. I really like it because it separates all of my eyelashes and makes them look really long and full without making them look cakey or like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. And finally, I'm just going to apply a little bit of moisture on my lips. This is actually just Aquaphor. And then you can let your hair down because you are done with your makeup. My hair is always so crazy and wild. And like I said, I've been on Accutane for six months now. And my skin and my hair are both so dry. So I pretty much just have to roll with it. And I think this is probably the best that it's going to look. And this is pretty much our finished look. I think it looks super nice and natural. And like I said, this is basically how I do my makeup every day. And I get a lot of compliments on my skin. And most people think that I am not wearing any makeup at all. And of course, that is not true. But nobody has to know that. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that I used, I'm going to link all of them in the description box below. And if you have any additional questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any other requests for me, then feel free to shoot those to me as well. I've actually filmed like six videos for you guys that I am so excited to post in the next couple of weeks. And if you're wondering why I have filmed this in my kitchen, it is because the only heater in my house is located here. So this is pretty much my new studio space. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video and I will talk to you then.